What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kasim and you are watching another episode of Tip Tuesday where I give you guys quick little tips and short little videos about the tech in your lives. Today we are going to be talking about iOS 14 widgets. I'm going to show you guys step by step how to get them set up and give you guys a few tips and tricks. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is unlock our iPhone and jump to our home screen. In order to add your first widget, you're going to long press on the iPhone screen and in the top right, you will see a plus icon. An important thing to note is that if you have an iPhone 11, you're going to see the plus icon in the top left. This is an iPhone SE 2, so for this, it shows up at the top right. So whichever side the plus icon shows up for you, Go ahead and select that. What this is going to do is bring up a list of widgets for you to choose. You can see some options at the top or you can scroll down through the complete list and choose the one you want. For the sake of this video, we are going to choose the batteries widget. Once you select the widget you want, it'll give you an option to pick your size between small, medium, or large. We are going to select large and then press add widget. Now, once you're on the home screen and your widget is all set up, you'll see that this is showing the battery status of our iPhone and Apple Watch. Now, if we connect our AirPods, then it's going to start displaying the battery life of not only the headphones, but the case as well. This is a really cool widget. And similarly, whichever one you choose, you can just repeat the process and set up one widget at a time by doing this. Next, I wanna talk about the Smart Stacks widget. And the reason I love this one is because it curates different widgets for you throughout the day based on your liking. For example, I've got mine set up for notes, news, series suggestions, and the weather app. Now, in order to add a Smart Stack, we're gonna to wanna to repeat the same process as before. So go ahead and long press on the home screen, hit the plus icon, scroll down and find Smart Stack, and select it. Next, you'll be able to choose a size. I'm gonna pick the largest one and then select add widget so we can place it on our home screen. Now that we've added the smart stack onto our home screen, we can actually just go ahead and do a long press and select edit stack. What this is gonna allow you to do is to organize the order in which you wanna see your widgets rotating. And then you can also remove some of the ones that you don't want in there. So if you want to remove any of the widgets that are in the stack, you're simply going to want to slide your finger to the left and that'll bring up an option to delete the widget. Go ahead and select that and now that independent widget will be removed from the whole stack. You can also organize the order by selecting one of these three tabs that are to the right of each independent widget. So for example, those three lines that are to the right of the photos if we select that and then drag it down, we'll be able to change the order in which we get to see photos. And we can do that for any of the other ones and organize it in whichever order that we like. At the top where you see Smart Rotate, this is actually a feature that allows the independent widgets to move by themselves throughout the day. So if you don't want the iPhone automatically switching through these widgets, then you can simply turn this option off and that way you'll be able to manually slide through them however you want. Now that you've got your smart stack all set up and ready to use, you can actually rotate through it manually by swiping through, or you can just let the iPhone do it for you if you have the smart rotate option on. One quick tip for smart stacks is that if you're using the news widget, the weather widget, or the calendar widget, you can actually edit the type of information that it's going to display. So for example, if I go into the news widget and I do a long press with my finger, it'll bring up an option to edit news. If I select that, then I can actually choose a topic that I would like to see curated for that widget. This is just another way to actually customize the type of information that the stack will be showing, as long as you are using it for news, weather, or calendar. Apart from adding independent widgets and smart stacks to your home screen, if you go to the main page of your home screen and swipe with one finger to the right, you can also add widgets over here with the same process. This is a nice way to have all your widgets set up in one place so you can check them out 
anytime you like. You can also add third-party widgets for the apps that support them. Right now, I've got a few apps that do, such as Capital One. Adding third-party widgets is a bit different though. You'll need to go to the main page of your phone screen and swipe with one finger to the right. Then, if you scroll down to the bottom, you will see an option to edit. Go ahead and select that. Then scroll down again to where you see Customize. You'll need to tap on the arrow to the right, which will bring up a list of widgets that you can add in. Go ahead and select the one you'd like. I've added my Capital One widget, which lets me see my balance at a glance. As of right now, only a few apps support this, but as iOS 14 gets closer to launch, more and more apps will be updated to support widgets. Overall, I love the fact that widgets have finally made their way into iOS. It adds so much convenience, and it's definitely refreshing to see some change on the home screen of iPhone. Alright guys, that does it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions for me and do subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next Tuesday, same time, same place.